Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. In this video we are going to take a look at how we can animate some items inside the flat list, scroll view, section list, you name it. As inspired by Atun, he created this beautiful animation while scrolling between inside the list and I'll show you my way of doing it in React Native by using animated API and flat list. Again, you can apply the same behavior to a scroll view, flat list, section list, all the lists available inside React Native. So let's play the intro and jump straight into VS Code and start building this animation while scrolling. Shall we? Alrighty guys, so we are in VS Code here. I've already prepared the boilerplate for you. Uh, the link to it is down in the description. You can go ahead, grab it, add it in your IDE, and we'll have the same starting point. So let me walk you through what we have so far. Uh, we have here, we've imported Faker and we are creating the data with Faker. So basically I'm creating a collection of 30 items and for each particular item I'm getting a key, an image, a name, job title and an email. Uh, I'm using uh, Faker for most of them and for the image I'm actually the image or the avatar. It's actually grabbed from random user and I'm using a helper inside Faker to get either a woman or a man and then uh, a random number between 0 and 60 to get the image for that particular avatar. And down below I grabbed an image as a background you'll see in a minute from Pexels and we will add it as a background and we are going to add some blur radius to it so we can blur it and, and give this beautiful UI plus some constants for spacing and for avatar size that will display inside the flat list. So first thing, let's create the flat list, add uh, the items inside it and afterwards we'll create the animation. So here inside the main renderer function, render a flat list and we'll have data as data. We'll have a key extractor of item and get the key from the item and we'll have a render item get the item and the index and return here a view right that will contain the avatar which is going to be rounded so image and the source is going to be uri item image and we will have a style of let's apply a width of avatar size height avatar size and border radius avatar size and down below so hit save now we, we should have this um, uh, vertical list right where we display all the avatars and as a sibling of this view we would like to display the title um, the how it was the the job title, the name, the job title and the email. So we need to create another view. View. And we'll have a text of item name, the same for job title and the same for email, right? The reason why I'm uh, wrapping the text into a view is because I would like to have this view as flex direction row. So they will, uh, we will have the image and then uh, the other, the other view that will contain the, uh, the text. So we will display this as a, as a col column. And now with a style for the image, we can also display. We can add a margin right of spacing. Cool. I think it's uh, spacing divided by two uh, to give just a little breathing room. And let's style just a little the um, items here. So we'll have a font size of 22, a font weight of, I don't know, maybe 700. All right. Uh, then the style for the uh, job title is going to be font size. Let's give it uh, 18. And let's give it an opacity of 0.7. Okay, and for the email, we'll have a style of font size 12. Opacity is going to be again 
maybe 0.8 this time is too small 14 and color is going to be blue or let's make this a, a beautiful blue 0099cc okay and so we have those images and now if we go to the main item let's uh, give this a padding of spacing and a margin bottom of spacing so we just create uh, we will create some breathing room and also so this one is going to uh, uh, be visible like this right so this is the right time to also add a border radius of 16 okay i think 16 is too much so 12 and to create the uh, the spacing on the sides we need to go to the flat list and apply a content container style and padding is going to be spacing so we create uh, around a spacing but i would like to start from uh, to give a different padding top so padding top is going to be status bar its current height otherwise so if we have the current height otherwise is 42 okay so this, this looks good so far. Let's remove the red for now and add a white one with an opacity of 0 0.8. We'll, we'll do the trick here. Cool. Along with it, we can also add the box shadow. So we'll have a shadow color of 0, 0, 0 shadow offset of width 0 and height. This time we'll move it down. So height is zero, uh, height is uh, 10, sorry. And uh, shadow opacity of one and the shadow radius of 20. Let's hit save. So we have this, uh, this type of shadow. And now let's decrease the shadow amount opacity to 0.3. So we create this beautiful effect here. All right, and we said in the first place that we'll display a background, uh, an image as a background and we are going to blur it. So let's do it now. Uh, before rendering the flat list, we'll have an image with a source of URI. We'll have this BG image. And the style is going to be style sheet absolute fill object. So we will stretch it, right? So it's going to be underneath this beautiful uh, flat list. And to give it a, bore, a blur, we we can send a blur radius property here and blur radius, let's give it 50 or maybe even more, maybe 80. All right, so we have this, uh, this blurred background and we have the flat list. And now let's, let's animate while going down on the list. We would like to animate each particular item within the flat list. And we would like to have, uh, when this one is going to hit the, the top edge here, I would like to start the animation. And the animation will end when the next item will uh, uh, reach the top. So first we need to convert this flat list to be an animated flat list in order to get the animated event from it. So go down below to the flat list, convert this flat list into an animated flat list, get the on scroll event, which is an animated event. We'll get from native event the content offset, the Y position and assign it to scroll Y and sorry, and we will use the native driver for this. At the top, go ahead and create this scroll Y, which is a react use ref a new animated value starting from zero get the current. The reason why I'm using use ref is because I like react to keep track of my values. So whenever this component is going to be re-rendered, I'm not uh, losing uh, the, the initial value of scroll Y and it's going to remain the same during component life cycles. And it's also performant and is the way how react team is actually suggesting to use uh, a new animated value on the React Native side. Now that we have the scroll Y value, we can go ahead inside the item 
and create here an input range. And how I am going to take it uh, is initially I would like to start uh, with a scale of one, and when you hit this edge, it's going to uh, it's going to be scale is going to go to from one to zero. So we need to. Um, change the scroll view like this so I'll, I'll write it down in first place so it's minus one and zero basically whatever it's um, um, at minus one and uh, below is going to remain the same so basically if i'm here no matter what is going to happen the scale is going to remain the same if i'm here again uh, the scale is going to be one so i'm not going to change the scale but at uh, index multiplied with the uh, item height, we will like to start the animation. So it's going to be minus one and zero. And then when this uh, scroll Y will meet item size multiplied by index, I would like to trigger the animation. So this, this one, it's actually uh, at the top here. So here, here is going to start the animation. And now we need to also define another point for the input range when this animation is going to finish. So I like to have it at item size multiplied by index plus two. So basically two different items. So it's going to start here and it's going to end when the second item will meet the, uh, the top edge. And with this uh, input range, we need to define the item size. So if I go above here, the item size is going to be avatar size. So avatar size, right? Because it's the avatar height here. We need to add the padding. So one padding, another padding. So multiplied by two plus the margin bottom. So we need to add here spacing multiplied by three. Basically, this is the item size, right? So now if I go uh, to the render item, so beyond minus one, it doesn't matter, stay the same. Then at zero, then at when the item uh, reaches the edge, the top edge, and then the uh, animation should finish after scrolling two items. And with this input range, we can do a scale transition. And the scale is going to be a scroll Y interpolated Pass the input range that we've created and the output range is going to be 1 for minus 1, 1 for 0, 1 when it's going to uh, be at the edge of the, uh, the current item and 0 when it's going to be two items down. So basically I'm keeping the scale at 1 no matter where is the scroll Y uh, uh, before the top edge of the current item. I'm doing this minus one and zero because I would like to uh, inform linear interpolation. Hey, how should you interpolate if the on the left hand side? So in, in this position, right? And now the, the, the remain thing is to convert this view into an animated view. And at the styles, inside the styles, pass the transform and scale. Hit save. So now if I'm, if I'm scrolling, you'll notice that the animation started. Animation started, start, started, started, started. Just because, for example, just le let's take this item. Based on this input range, based on this input range, I'm saying, remain the same scale, so stay at one until this item top edge is going to meet the, the top edge of the screen. So stay, 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 stay. And now it's going to, to trigger the animation. Now it's going to trigger the animation. Otherwise, stay at one. And we can apply the same for the opacity, but this time I would like to change the input just a little bit. So opacity input range. I would like to uh, make the opacity animation faster. And so I'm saying that 
current item, top edge, and the next item. So it's it's shorter in terms of the dimension, right? And I'm saying just decrease the opacity only with one item instead of two items. So now the opacity should be scroll Y interpolate, pass the input ranges, opacity input range, and for the output range is going to be the same. So stay at uh, opacity one until you meet the your own top edge and then move down one item you'll be at opacity zero so passing this opacity as opacity you'll notice that now it should start the opacity start the opacity you see start the opacity i can speed up things and i can increment it by 0.5 let's say so half of the item and now it should be at zero before reaching like in the middle of the item and so on and so forth you can play around with it and you can achieve all sort of animation or all sort of uh, effects here so that was it guys it was a short tutorial again uh, where i was showing you how to actually animate some items inside a list from react native using animated api Again, this, uh, the, you, you can apply this tip or this trick uh, into your scroll view, flat list, section list, uh, basically all the list, lists uh, provided by React Native. If you have any issues, don't hesitate to leave a comment down below. I'll do my best to answer all of them and help you as much as I can. Also, don't forget to subscribe, smash the like button or double smash the dislike button. That will help me out as well. Other than that, see you in the next video. Bye bye guys.